Hello students, welcome to online classes. Today I am going to take chapter 1, the leaf of biology of class 6. The contents are external structure of a leaf, kinds of leaves, venation, functions of leaf, arrangement of leaves, modification of leaves, modification of leaves in insectivorous plants and vegetative propagation. Before we start with the external structure of a leaf, let us know about the parts of a plant. The main parts of the plant are root, stem, branch, leaf, fruit and flower. We are going to study about flower and fruit in chapter 2. Now let us know about the functions of root. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. It fixes the plant to the soil. Functions of stem. It holds the plant straight. It transports water and minerals from the soil to other parts of the plant. It transports food from the leaf to other parts of the plant. Now, let us know about the parts of a leaf. The flat part of the leaf is called the lamina or the leaf blade. The thin stalk-like structure that is attached to the stem is called petiole. The tip of the leaf is called apex. This is called the base of the stem. Sorry, base of the leaf. Now, we see that from the base of the leaf till the apex of the leaf arises thin tube-like structure. This is called midrib or midvein. Now, from midvein also many tiny tubes arises. These are called vein and spread throughout the lamina. Now, what is the function of midrib? It transports water and minerals to all parts of a leaf through veins. Now, what is the function of vein? Veins are tiny tubes. It provides shape and support to the leaf. Now, there are also stomata present under the surface of the leaf. What are these stomata? These are tiny holes. Now, what is the function of stomata? The stomata allow the gases to move in and out of the leaf. It allows excess water vapor to go out of the leaf. Students, do you know why the leaves are green in color? Yes, it is green in color due to the presence of a green colored pigment called chlorophyll. What is the function of chlorophyll? It imparts green color to the leaves. It also absorbs or trap energy from sunlight. Now, let us know about the types of leaf. We know that there are two types of leaves, simple leaf and compound leaves. What is the difference between the simple leaf and compound leaf? In case of simple leaf, we see that lamina is not divided into leaflets. There is only single lamina. In case of compound leaf, the lamina is divided into many leaflets, small leaflets. This is the difference between the simple leaf and the compound leaf. In plants like mango and papaya, we see simple leaf. Neem and rose, we see compound leaf. Next is venation in leaf. Before, there are two types of venation, reticulate venation and parallel venation. But before I explain the difference between the two, let me explain you what is venation. The arrangement of veins on the lamina is called venation. How see how the these veins are arranged on the lamina? This is called venation. In case of reticulate venation, Veins are arranged in an irregular way forming a net like structure. In case of parallel venation, veins are arranged parallel to each other on both sides of the midrib. Parallel venation can be seen in rice, wheat and banana and in case of rose, china rose people, we see reticulate venation. Okay, now let us know about the functions of leaf. First function is photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? The process of making food by the green leaves of a plant is called photosynthesis. What is transpiration? The leaves get rid of excess water from the plant through stomata. What? 
already studied that was tomato are tiny pores on leaves. Now the third function of a leaf is Shit. respiration. What is respiration? In case of respiration what happens? The food combines with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water and energy is released. Let us know about photosynthesis in details. Now, the process of making food by the green leaves of the plant is called photosynthesis. Now, green leaves combine with carbon dioxide in presence of water and sunlight and chlorophyll makes food and releases oxygen. This food is glucose and the formula is C6H12O6. Leaves take carbon dioxide through stomata from the air. It absorbs, it takes water from the soil through the root, sunlight it takes from the sun and chlorophyll is already present in the leaf. Now, now we are next topic is phyllotaxy. What is phyllotaxy? Phylon means leaf and taxis means arrangement. How the leaves are arranged on the stem, it is called phyllotaxy or the arrangement of leaves. Before we study about the arrangement of leaves, let us know about the important word that is node. What is node? The part of the plant from where the leaf arises is called node. Now, there are three types of arrangement of leaves. Alternate arrangement of leaves, opposite arrangement of leaves and world arrangement of leaves. Now let us discuss about first the alternate arrangement of leaves. Now in case of alternate arrangement of leaves we see that a single leaf is arising from a node and are arranged in alternate way on the stem. This kind of can be seen this type of arrangement can be seen in hibiscus and china rose. Now next we have opposite arrangement of leaves. In this what happens from a single node Two leaves are arising and they are arranged in opposite. They are arranged opposite to each other on the stem. So this type of arrangement is called opposite arrangement of leaves. Examples, guava and pomegranate. Now, world arrangement of leaf. In this case, we can see from the picture, it is very clear that from a single node, more than two leaves are arising. So, if more than two leaves are arising from a single node, they form a world, they are arranged in a world, arranged, world type of arrangement and so the arrangement is called world arrangement of leaves. Examples are oleander, Indian cucumber, root. Next topic is modification of leaves. Before we study about the modification of leaves, let us know what is Modification. Modification means a structural change required to perform a specialized function. Now, in case of, can you see this uh, pea plant? In this pea plant, leaves are modified into leaf tendrils. These are thin structure. Leaves are modified into thread like these are coiled structure. They provide support to the weak stem. Now, Second example of modification of leaf is leaf spines. In cactus plant, we see that the leaves are modified into spines. Spines reduce the loss of water through transpiration. It also provides protection from animals. Next, we have scale leaves. Uh, leaves are also modified as scale leaves. In case of onion, garlic and ginger, it protects the bud. This is the bud and the scale leaves are protecting the bud it also stores food and water and it is dry in case of garlic and fleshy in case of onion so students here I'm ending the lesson and now your assignment will be draw and label the diagrams shown in the video all the diagrams that is if we take the first we have already covered the till 6 that is you have to draw and label the external structure of a leaf then you have to draw the kinds of leaves you have to draw the types of venation you have to uh, draw the arrangement of leaves and you have to draw the modifications of leaves as you have seen in the videos okay so now I'm ending this session and I 
hope you will watch this video and learn something in the next session i'll be discussing about the modification of leaves till then stay home stay safe